Hey guys, Ed here, Top of Line Training. Today I'm going to do a review and demonstration of the travel wrench. The travel wrench is also known as the impact karambit. Basically, it's a two ounce piece of plastic, and compared to a bladed karambit, like so, this is also a trainer, but uh, you can see the resemblance. The impact karambit or travel wrench. Basically, like I said, it's a two ounce piece of plastic and it's used for impact striking and blocking and hooking and all that kind of thing. And I will demonstrate some of that on the uh, bob in the back here in a few minutes. But uh, basically what this does for you, it uh, basically multiplies whatever you're doing times 10. Uh, there's a lot of different techniques with it. However, it's by itself it creates its own fighting style really. But if you take it, you can really add it to any fighting style, such as boxing from here, tie boxing, right? Throwing the kicks, throwing the elbows, come back with the travel wrench, like so, Kali, of course, back in goon ting, horizontal goon ting, vertical goon ting straight in punch, back fist, whatever it is, um, whatever you're doing, doesn't matter. You have this in your hand as well, can help in disarming as well as locks and uh, grabs and things like that. Um, hard to demonstrate on myself here, but usually it would be done in reverse style, but you grab your ear like so and you pinch with the thumb coming up, it's just a force multiplier, it's very painful. Same thing here on the finger, if you have your standard finger lock like so, like so, you have the impact karambit on it, and man, it's just, it'll raise you up. Uh, it's very painful, very devastating. This uh, version here I have is a DTL, actually this destroy trap, destroy trap lock version, it was one of the original um, they came out, uh, I got this back in 2001 I believe it was, um, the thing about today's version is the travel wrench. The travel wrench has basically a socket or wrench socket set lined up where these holes are and there your name the travel wrench. Um, so if you ever need to fix your uh, skateboard wheels or your carry on baggage, rolling wheels, something like that, you will have a wrench to do so. And also being so uh, very serious about this part, it's actually a great massage tool. Uh, basically acupressure or acu-release where you're pushing and digging, working the tendon part of the muscle or the tendons of the muscles or connection to the bone and uh, working that, releasing the pressure really good for that so it does serve multi purposes so again the travel branch so I'm gonna do a let me set the bob up here and let me get the camera right and I'll do a little demo with the travel wrench and some strikes and whatnot I'll be right back all right guys head back with the top of line training uh, before I do the demo here I uh, also have a trainer version however I will tell you uh, even though the trainers a little softer if you get hit by this thing, it still hurts like living heck. However, the trainer is actually a travel wrench. I must have picked this one up later on. I don't remember when I got these, but you can see possibly here, it says travel wrench, but you can see the shapes of the holes shaped like um, wrench head or bolt heads or nut heads. So you can use it as a tool and it does work on some uh, things. Some, some things might be too tight where it may break, but if you have a loose nut, you can tighten them up with the uh, uh, hard plastic wrench. So anyway, like I said before, you have many techniques that you can utilize out here. From the lock example, from the arm bar, I don't have uh, anyone here today to help me out, but you have the arm bar here right so this will, could be digging down on the arm part this way this way or even with the arm in that in uh, the regular way 
However, from here you can scoop and you can pull this down. Um, different strikes. Number one, if you're thinking of collie. Number one here, backhand. Number two, straight in punch. And when I'm punching here, the tip and the ring are hitting. Very painful if you've ever been hit by it. But your ba basic jab, jab with the turning fist, um, Wing Chun straight punch, karate punch, it doesn't matter. This is going to hit first. This ring and this tip are going to hit and it's very hard. This can crush down like big soup cans, uh, bean cans, you know, big uh, vegetable cans. This can crush it. So imagine what it can do to the body. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't believe it, get one. Hit yourself just a little bit, especially on the bones, bony areas, serious pain. So you from it doesn't matter what style you're using, from Thai boxing, Wing Chun, Hungar, uh, Ishimaru Karate, Shotokan, boxing, Thai boxing, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And you can hold it in either hand, whatever you want to do. I uh, reference it more to Kali. And I'll get into that in a minute. But, you know, some of the strikes like so. See? Hook. Backhand. Low hand. Or high, low, high. High, low, high, low. Or single, single, wally, if you will. One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, punch. Or palm strike. Punch. Elbow, back heel, slap, whatever techniques you want to use. And, uh, you know, come down. You know, Goonting series. Backhand Goonting. Parry, hit the arm. Parry, step in for the head takedown uh, example. It would be something like this. And you come in, hook it here. Right, and then this would come over. As well. Vertical goon ting. Vertical goon ting, checking, coming to the rear, digging this in to the face. Very painful right here. Very painful. In real life, or without the weapon, it would be something like this or like this. But here, we get that point. Not the point of here, but uh, this back angle right here. Digging straight down into the face bones into the neck, side of the head, doesn't matter. Into the, even into the uh, collarbone. Very painful. Um, it's a very uh, highly effective weapon. And also, as I mentioned earlier, it's a weapon that teaches you how to use other weapons or assist in your training and learning. So example, like I said before, I'm using the Impact Karambit. Well, I can transition right over to the karamba. It's the same thing, except you're just cutting this time. But it's the same motions, right? And now we're doing our hooks, cutting, our head hooks, come around, boom, 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 boom. It's all in there. Groins, uh, femoral, here, here, whatever, it's all in there. Um, versus the impact around it, where you're hitting. Now, maybe this right here, instead of hitting the outside of the leg, which could create a good Charlie horse for a second or so, come down and hit the outside of the knee. Pain. Boom. You take that. Come back up hit. Like I said right here, this is uppercut. This is digging into the eye right here. Digging into the eye right here. Scraping. Groin shot. Uh, here's a rich, uh, or a, um, a uh, forearm strike. Come back with a rip here. Punch. Straight blast. Right? Elbow. Miss. Come back with a hook. Or come back with a back fist. Slap. Again, groin slide. It's all in here. Nasty blows. Again, if 
we look at it, so pardon me for a second. <coughs> Impact karambit or karambit, uh, ice pick dagger grip. So from here, it's the same thing. Here. Same, same motion. Come around to the well, which is straight down into the heart or into the chest cavity here. The well is the portion right here, that little hollowed out area right here, called the well. When you come here, you do your who bud or you do your who bud entry, pushing right there, just straight to the side of the head. Could even be a stab. Come up. Around right into the well, boom. Again, hooking, coming into the uh, side of the ribs here. That's very, uh, that could be death. Drip it across, boom, boom, back in. All back in strikes here, slice back, 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 back. Come up to the front. Well, same thing. In more of a uh, non lethal way but painful way is I'm here striking here comes a strike boom I'm blocking it I can shield even off the shield I strike I come around here's my well or so the neck works better in the face I will say more pain you take down here as well you can come down and hit you can uh, example again you can hook that arm hook here if you can visualize with me, here comes the strike, hooking, I'm taking it down, and I'll come in for the rip shot here, pain. From here, they might even hang on, boom, boom, come back up. You got so many different angles of attack here, right? Whatever it is you want to do. Okay? Let's transition to the stick. Stick. Impact karambe. Stick. Puno. Right here. So here I am. Boom. Right? And the tick. I come down. Whoa, watch your blinds, baby. Get back hitting the tick. Boom, here. I can come back. I can hit. I can switch hit to the head. Come down. I can tackle. I can come down, I can hit the ribs here. Now I can go into the tap. I can come up into the choke. I can come into the headlock. Face smash. Uh, solar clutches. Groin. All done with the stick, but training with the impact karama. Again, a less lethal way um, to carry a weapon. In today's society, more so than any, you have a gun, you have a bladed or some kind of edge weapon, and you have a club. Those are the three main things. If you're going to get into a, and of course, empty hands. If you're going to get into a confrontation, it's going to be one of those four usually. So, um, using the impact around it to help you not only. Uh, learn how to use other weapons, example, like I just showed, the knife, the uh, stick, the uh, a real pyramid, if you will, as well. Uh, Bob Koga gave me these. This is the ST, SD1, I believe, self-defense 1, and then the uh, uh, self-defense 2. But example, again, same thing. Here it is. Now, the only reason I don't damage these is because uh, they were gifted to me by Bob Koga. But you can get a, your worry or whatever kind of weapon. You can drill a hole in it, put a line through it. So now you have it on your finger. So if you do open your hand, you can, you know, you still retain your weapon. That's just one thing you could do. But anyway, going back to this, look, it's the same thing as the Impact Karambit. Here's, here's a forehand strike, here's a forehand strike, forehand strike, backhand strike, forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. What is this? This is double stick. Uh, one and two here. Let me make some room here. But 
see something like this. Right? So, that was just an example, of course, but again, impact karambit, uh, SD1 by Bob Koga, or your worry or whatever. So here it is, there's the forehand strike. There's the high, more the high, low, high, slap, groin strike, face jam, or face hit, elbow strike, hook, we tie knee, elbow, slap the face, solar plexus, stomach, ribs, uh, groin, groin, throat, see I The thing about this is you can go either way with it. Very effective weapon as well. But uh, the main thing here is the impact karambi. And you can as well with it, one, two, slap, and using the ring side right into the groin. But right into the side of the neck, back in the bottom, you see. So you have different ways to strike some wally. See, if this was a live blade, those are femoral cuts right away. Or on the ribs. Very uh, effective weapon as well as training tool. Other things in relation to impact karama. This is something I made. It's just a uh, uh, necklace, if you will, of a uh, deer horn. However, if we look at it now, it's in the. You can also wrap needed. You can also use this like uh, a sarong type uh, weapon if needed, right? But. The point to this is, here I am, take my neck and saw, boom, it's an eye strike, throat strike, uh, midsection, groin, come around, there's the catch of the cord. If you could do it, if you could pull it off, you can't, if you can't, it's no big deal, you just continue on with the strikes here, see, as well as end whipping around to the eyes, you know, just as a distraction type thing. But there is a reaction of this. So when they do that, come in with a smash here. Okay? But it resembles the karambit, if you will. Now, all that being said, all of it, everything I've just showed you based off the karambit or the impact karambit, also known as the travel wrench. Okay? Very deadly weapon. Uh, you can order on Amazon, but I would recommend contacting uh, Datu and uh, Kelly Warden out of Tacoma, Washington, I believe that's where he lives now. And you can um, uh, get one from him. They're very inexpensive, and it's something that could save your life one day. Now, he teaches the cross method with this. I'm not going to step or even try to step on his toes, if you will. No uh, pun intended, Datu. But uh, my point to that is, I'm not gonna get into what he teaches. I'm gonna, he's got videos out on that. It's called Heavy Hitters. Uh, in fact, I'll be back in a second with that, but um, it's called Heavy Hitters. I highly recommend that video. Um, and, because um, it'll help you understand this tool. There's other videos of the Impact Karambit on uh, YouTube and whatnot, other places on the net. Again, it's a very effective tool and uh, very useful in self-training and partner training because everything you do, again, with a stick or the dagger uh, here, again, high, low, high, or the X strikes, or the one, two, or the one, four, depending on what system you're in, or the high, low, high, low, which is the single sim wally. Right? Again, same thing here. Strike, 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 strike. And you can go slow. You don't have to go fast. And as you get better, speed it up. Right? You can hit here. You can hit here, here, here. It's all in there. But this enhances you 
like I said before, tenfold. It's a very deadly weapon. Trust me. If I hit you like this in the head with that, it's gonna. Uh, it possibly could give you a concussion. And it could crack your skull. It's gonna hurt like hell. I can promise you that. Okay. So this could be the difference. If you think about it for a second, this could be the difference of, say, example, you got some big thug, whatnot. I don't care what color, white, black. They come in all shapes and sizes these days. But see, you got some big dude, and you crack him with this, maybe kick him in the nuts or whatnot and run, or get away or get a different weapon or whatnot, or get the police, whatnot. This could be the difference, okay? Uh, one other thing to relate to this is the uh, tactical pen. Very deadly weapon. Again, you can use it like this, or you can use it in the dagger fashion. Uh, different tools and different things on that. But, again, if we use it like the SD-1 or the Karambit, see, hammer grip style, right? That's double dagger, some wobbly, right? Right? Straight blast, back fist, thrust fist, back fist style. Um, you can effectively use this as you would this as well. So now you have two weapons on you carrying. And if you're in an airplane or something like that, or you have a flashlight, again, that's another weapon uh, that you can use exactly like this. Okay? All related to the impact karama. I don't want to hit my bottle, I don't want to stick it hard, right, but here. Okay, so what I do, I went one, poke here, right? Poke down here, I poked up here. So instead of going to the side for training purposes, real life is going to be right to the groin, it's going to be into the midsection. I can come back up here again with the one, two, strike. So this is single some Wally, one, two, one. Because if I go this side, single some Wally, it's one, two, three, four here. And one, two, three, four on this side, my right side. So I could go one, two, one. I could go one, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, one. I could go one, three, one. I could go one, Three, one, uh, um, three again. So it, it's uh, up to you on the combinations. You can practice any of them. But the point, it all falls back to the Impact Karama. Very deadly tool. One other lock you can work on. Of course, we all know the pinch under the skin under the arm here. You can grab again. This might demonstrate it better. This would be the same thing you would do with the ear or other parts, but you could grab like that. Painful pain. And uh, you get a lot of compliance out of that and very a lot of pain reaction and do different things off of that, of course. Um, I hope I did enough justice to this thing because it is something else. So again, the Impact Karambit, like I said, I recommend contacting Kelly Warden uh, out of, uh, of Natural Spirit International out of Tacoma, Washington, and get them from him. As well, he has a DVD out, and I'll be showing that here in a second. Um, the Impact Karambit, he teaches in many different fashions, actually, but the basic is the high block, the low block, the inward block, the outward block, something of that nature high block, low block, and block. So if a strike comes in, boom, I'm hitting it. Kick comes in, I'm hitting it. Strike comes in, I'm hitting it. Doesn't matter what it is. You know, I'm gonna hit. If it's an overhand strike, I'm gonna hit right away and hit some more. Like I said, tenfold. Of course, you can also work your spinning or your extending strikes with this as well. Basically, not so much for this, but for your karam. See, that's a cut. If you have a back, if you have a back edge on your karambit, that's a cut right there. Boom, 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 boom. Come back, 
come back. So, so when I, I swing up the stab, they stop my arm, I extend and cut. Come back, swipe, swipe. See, very uh, many ways to use the crown with a pork. But um, this here can help you work those uh, techniques. All right, guys, they're back with the top of line training. Uh, just want to show you this real quick. It's a DVD. It just came out not too long ago. Datu Kelly S. Ward, um, heavy hitters. Fist loads and force multipliers. I highly recommend this DVD. He goes over the impact karambit as you were. Well, the impact karambit are also known as the travel wrench, the pocket wrench, and the safety wrench. Three of which he all invented and developed. Uh, it covers all kinds of methods from basic starting out from, like I showed you before, the blocking to all the way into what only really uh, Datu Kelly Warden can do is how he connects all the systems from uh, tie boxing to boxing to Kali to uh, Arnis or uh, Silat Kuntao, whatever, Wing Chun, whatever all he does, his system uh, known as Natural Spirit, uh, Renegade, uh, JKD, these, uh, this video right here shows quite a bit all of that different techniques and stuff by the Grand Master himself. So, like again, I highly recommend this video and I highly recommend the travel wrench. And uh, you can get any of these the travel wrench, safety wrench, and the um, pocket wrench from him. I have a pocket wrench as well, but for some reason I've misplaced it. So, uh, uh, I'll maybe do a separate review on that later. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Ed Top of the Line Training. Make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get the channel built up. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I've switched into more of the martial arts section, especially for summer. I'll get some bushcrafting and other reviews out soon enough. Uh, but I've just been revisiting a lot of the uh, martial arts stuff. I've been studying for over 30 years and uh, I thought I would just share some of the uh, stuff I know. I have a lot of martial arts stuff coming. Uh, every, anything from boxing to Kali to Thai boxing, Pinchak, Silat, Wing Chun. Uh, those are my main things I do. JKD. So, uh, but anyway, the main thing here is the Impact Karambit. Again, Highly recommend it. Until the next video, guys, Zed Top of Line Training. God bless. Take care. And we'll see you on the next one.